In this video, we're going to be talking a little bit more about degree sequences. Um, and specifically, we're going to talk about degree sequences that are simple graphical. So remember, a degree sequence um, is graphical if there is some graph that has that particular sequence as its degree sequence. And a degree sequence is simple graphical if there is a simple graph um, such that the degree sequence corresponds to that graph. So for example, just a reminder, right, so let's look at the degrees of every vertex in this maroon graph here. Right, we have three, four, two, four, three. So then the, the degree sequence, remember, should be non-increasing. So you start with the biggest numbers. So this will be four, four, three, three, two. Okay, so because we see that for this degree sequence, there is a simple graph over here that has this degree sequence then this sequence is called simple graphical. Remember, a simple graph is one that has no parallel edges or loops. Um, so let me just get a darker colored pin here. <clears throat> okay, so that's what it means for a degree sequence to be simple graphical. So <clears throat> the question is, how do you know if a degree sequence is simple graphical? So let's look at a couple of issues that can happen. Um, so first of all, you might want to consider for a second whether this first degree sequence is simple graphical. So remember, there's an easy test to determine if it's just graphical, and that's just if um, there is an even number of odd vertices. Well, here there aren't any odd vertices, so that would certainly pass this test. But it turns out that this sequence is not simple graphical. And the reason is because we have a degree 6 vertex, right? But where on earth can these six edges go, there are only four other vertices in the graph. Okay, so this degree six is going to give us trouble, because if you imagine, right, what can happen in the graph, right, so here's our degree six vertex, but then there are only supposed to be four other vertices, right, well where are these other two edges going to go? They can't go to any of these because it's supposed to be simple, right, so you can't have any parallel edges, and they can't come back to six either. So this 6 is what's giving us an issue here. That degree is too large. Okay, <clears throat> now what about this one? 3, 3, 3, 1. So you may want to pause for a second and see if you can think about this. Okay, <clears throat> so if we have four vertices, right? So let's just think about trying to draw this graph. So there are four vertices. Um, and three of them are supposed to have degree three, and one of them is supposed to only have degree one. Well, keep in mind here, for one of these vertices to have degree three, right, it's going to have to go to every single other vertex, right? That's the only way in a simple graph to make this have degree three, which this is fine, but now go to the next vertex that's also supposed to have degree three. Well, you can add this one, and that's okay, but you would need to put in this edge to make it have degree 3, but then you're going to put the degree of every vertex higher than 1, and you're supposed to have a, a vertex of only degree 1. So here again, the answer is going to be no. Um, and this is a, a little bit less clear about exactly what's happening, but essentially you have structural issues. So here you can just say, no, 6 is too big. Um, but in this one, we just sort of have some sort of structural issue that's sort of getting in our way of this being represented via a simple graph. So the question is, um, recognizing these structural issues are not too bad if you only have, say, four vertices, but what if you have 13 vertices? Well, then it's considerably harder. So luckily, we have a theorem that tells us exactly when a degree sequence, <clears throat> sequence is simple vertical. So um, this theorem here in aqua is looks confusing but it's not. So let me read it and then I'll just skip right over to an example so you can see what's happening. A degree sequence is simple graphical if and only if. So what's happening is here we're dropping the first number in the sequence and then we're subtracting one from that many of the next in the sequence and then we're continuing the sequence like regular. So essentially what this theorem does is give us a tool for reducing a degree sequence to a simpler degree sequence um, and one is simple graphical if and only if the other one is simple graphical. So let me show you what I mean in this example. So we want to determine whether or not 4433321 is simple graphical. Okay, so using the above theorem, we can consider a simpler sequence. 
So what we're supposed to do, so remember if you go up here, you're supposed to drop the first term, so we're going to be dropping the 4, and then in the next four terms, you're supposed to subtract 1, okay? And then for the rest of the terms, you just sort of leave them alone. That's represented over here by this tail. So for us, we're going to drop the first 4, and then we're going to subtract 1 from each of the next four numbers, okay? So the degree sequence that we can consider instead is going to be 3, 2, 2, 2, 2, 1. Okay, and again, what's happening here is we're going to drop this, and then we're going to subtract 1, subtract 1, subtract 1, subtract 1, and then leave the other ones alone. And the reason we subtracted 1 from 4 numbers was because the number we dropped was a 4. Okay, so this is our new degree sequence. Okay, now you might be saying, okay, well, I don't, you know, I'm not comfortable enough to know whether this thing is simple graphical. So again, by the theorem, we can consider an even simpler one. And we just do the process again. Okay, so and now we're going to scratch the 3, right, and we're going to subtract 1 from the next 3 numbers. Okay, and when we do that, now this one is out of order, so we want to rewrite this in the correct order, which should be non-increasing, right? So the 2 should come first, and then the 4 ones. Okay, and so now this sequence is simple graphical if and only if this one is, and this one is if and only if the original one is up here. So essentially you're just turning this slightly complicated problem into simpler and simpler problems until you get one that you can just answer. Okay. So did I copy everything down correctly here? I think so. Okay, so now the question is, is this simple graphical? And maybe you'll realize from looking at this one, this one's not too complicated. Um, sure. Here's degree 2, degree 1, degree 1, degree 1, degree 1, right? This is a simple graph that has this as its degree sequence. But even if you don't realize this, you could consider doing it again in which case you would subtract 2 from the next ones, right? You would get 0, 0, 1, 1, right? Which, of course, you want to rewrite so that it's not increasing. So 1, 1, 0, 0. And surely we can all recognize, right, that this is going to be simple graphical, right? Degree 1, degree 1, degree 0, degree 0. And this is a simple graph that has this as its degree sequence. So, what this tells us is that yes, uh, our original degree sequence, which was 4433321, this was our original. This is simple graphical because we reduced it to these simpler problems, and because we eventually, um, because we eventually ended up with one that was simple graphical using this process, that means the original must have also been simple graphical. So <clears throat> there are a few more examples like this in the text, and I'll mention them on the website. But that's essentially the last thing I want to talk about for um, degree sequences.